Hello my dear students and a very warm welcome to all of you in Edura. This is your biology faculty Dr. Dhruvi Parekh. Let us have a look at the life cycle of a silkworm. How the silkworm undergoes its life cycle so as to give us the cocoon. So basically any adult silkworm is around 5 cm in length. All right? It is a 5 cm long insect and most importantly the female insect is the one that is going to lay eggs but where on the mulberry leaves only because i told you that they are red only and only on the mulberry leaves so the female insect will rear the eggs and how many you know around 400 to 500 eggs and very important this female insect is not able to fly because we have seen there are so many insects that can fly right whether it is the butterfly the cockroaches they all fly even the male silkworm can fly but the female insect who is laying the eggs cannot fly at all clear with this part so it will just lay the eggs and it will take care of them basically and in a very good summer condition generally this hatching of the egg takes place after 10 days so once the eggs are laid it doesn't mean that immediately the worm will come out and the cocoon will be synthesized no it nearly takes 10 days that to in summer okay winter it could be higher it nearly takes 10 days for that egg to be hatched now once the egg is hatched what has happened the first stage of that worm is going to come out and what is that stage called caterpillar larva so the caterpillar larva will come out and now this caterpillar larva is going to undergo certain changes called as molting okay the caterpillar larva undergoes changes called as molting for four times and then it gets converted into the fifth instar now this larva is going to develop specialized salivary glands and you know what is the speciality it is the salivation of these salivary glands that leads to the formation of the cocoon basically it is the proteinaceous fluid like secretions from the saliva which later on become the cocoon around the worm okay so once i have the larva what does this larva do there are modifications in the salivary gland okay and the salivary glands are now called as the silk glands one of your mcq question okay they were initially called as the salivary glands but now they will be called as the silk glands now these silk glands they are going to secrete what proteinaceous and a viscous fluid and my dear students it is this fluid which is going to weave the cocoon around the worm clear with this part okay now once these salivary glands are modified and once the cocoon formation starts this entire formation of the cocoon takes how many days 3 days okay 3 days is required for the entire cocoon formation so you can see we were talking about the 1000 to 2000 meter long thread of silk from a single cocoon and it just takes 3 days for the caterpillar to develop that cocoon okay so now you can understand how important these insects are to us 